Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So in the previous video, we were learning about, about uh, working on to a real data set that was my Google Play Store data set. Right, so into the last video, what we did, we just tried making up these two plots, one versus category versus price, where this one is for the average and the second one is for my sum. And uh, this respective one was my year versus the rating. So we're trying to plot up the year versus the ratings. And that were also my average ratings. Right, that was done. Let's move towards my sheet number three. Now, okay, this is done, price is done. Now let's take you with the size column first of all. Okay, I'm going to take you the size onto my row. Okay, the size one will come over my row. And uh, for my columns, we can take up the app. I know it's it's going to be... Um, it's it's gonna be a lot and lot here because we are having a very you very um lots and lots of values in this particular column. But yeah, it's gonna be like that only. See, it's like this particular plot because too many values because too many apps are here for this. Right, that's the reason we are having a this particular thing. Okay, so yeah. From here, we are having up the measures and measures we can simply do up the count distinct. Count distincts will actually allow me to, um, will allow me that if I am having some values which are uh, different, some, some plots which are different from each other. So yeah, those can be plotted up here accordingly. Okay, now let's say if I make up this particular table for this. So yeah, it's like this particular, we are having too many apps here which are given in. Same goes for this uh, text labels as well. Next, it goes for my table as well, like that. And yeah, it's, it's as well not giving us any any respective uh, particular uh, information regarding any of those, right? So yeah, I will not at all make this plot simply if I will be making, I'll be making up this particular uh, one only, right? Nothing more than that. I would try to figure out in, into this particular one because that's of no use, right? Because if I'm not able to derive any respective insights from here, so why will I use up or make up that particular plot? That is my respective reason uh, behind choosing up this particular plot. That's my, uh, this particular one. Okay, bar. Now it's showing that the size, size of this beauty plus app, which we are, that is easy photo editor selfie camera. That seems to be a bit, a uh, very large, very uh, larger than the other ones, right? So it is having a size of 265,000. Okay, let's move more down and we can just figure out the things like this. But I don't think so any other app is going to have up some high values uh, like like except that one. So yeah, it's somewhat like that only you could just find out the things according to you afterwards. Okay, now the apps are here but now i won't use up this app because it's it's not giving me any respective to information because these are too many too many values and because of those many values we are not able to or like put up the things or, or simply do a pain respective thing or gather some meaningful insight okay so that's that's leave that out simply size we'll be having and we will be having up the current version Okay, the current version is as well having a lot of values. So let's see that what happens up here. Okay, so current version. Let me just uh, click with this. Let's let's choose up some measure here. Measure maximum, minimum, minimum count, count just into. Okay, let's do it for minimum first of all. So minimum it is showing me this one. No, this current version is as well having with too 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 many values. So it's again of new use to us, right? Now, what I get check from here, what is left up and that is of some use up is too many categories. We already did out content rating. Let's take that content rating. Yeah, this content rating is pretty fine. It could be of our use. So the size, size for the particular uh, app and the content rating. Great, That's that seems to be um, fun. Okay, this one is for everyone the size and this one is for the teen, then employ, so everyone 10 plus one matches. Okay, I would, I would remove this everyone. I would remove up this everyone because I do not use, want to have that. I would just click on exclude. Now, apart from that, now it's pretty fine. It's, it's giving me that uh, for the teen, for everyone 
uh, who is 10 plus and for the 17 plus, these are the points which we are having up. Right, same goes you. Same goes here onto my uh, particular one. So here we can just simply uh, say that the teen one, the teen is having at the highest size, right? Highest content ratings are given up by the teen, right? After that, the content ratings are given by the 10 plus. And further, the content ratings are given by the 17 plus. And by the 18 plus, very less content ratings are given by. Right, so this is the information which we can actually gather in uh, from this particular uh, chart, from this particular one, okay? So yeah, this is the one, but no, this bath lot is only the one which can make this look a little bit more uh, detailed manner. So I could just put up my sheet name, whatever I just wanted to do. So it's, it's for me, it's like um, size versus content rating size versus content rating okay i'm going to select that out completely and i'm going to click over the bold and click over okay so it is size versus the content rating and that's all the values which we are having in here right that's done so now right away with me i'm having three sheets what i could do i could simply let you know right away for making up a dashboard with these three sheets okay now for dashboard i'm going to click over this particular button downside and that's my dashboard or page where it appears right in the size for the page as well you could just set it according to your choice that uh, this should be the width see i'm just increasing up the width like that right away or just one second yeah this will work height height is pretty fine so we do not need to do anything and we can just put it up like that right now i'm having t3 sheet sheet one sheet two and sheet three i can take these sheets and put them over here from getting up some meaningful insights let the sheet one I, I would drop up here okay now that's my sheet one right we all know that that this particular one was my sheet one which was giving us the information regarding the category versus price okay now this second one this second one i would put it up let's say here yeah it 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 makes it makes up a little bit of sense. So then uh, this one I'm having will as uh, size versus content rating, and this particular one that's my line plot. I could put it up here like that, right? So I would just move here once for time, and I would click over this show box one. And yeah, this is how now my particular dashboard is looking into which I'm having up a category versus price then size versus content rating and then the year versus rating these are the points which we are having in here now you want to use up a filter you can go over this particular button put up some filters okay according to your choice more options you want you want a title you want filters red you want highlighters you want the toolbar and whatever the information or whatever you want you can just get in from here so that that is first one is my category versus the price, size versus content rating, and year versus rating. Now these can be shifted over if you want. You you can select it from here, and you can just take it to any other place like this. See, you can just shift that as well and take it to any other place of uh, your choice, whatever you feel it like. But now right away, I will just take that to a similar position where it was previously so that my all the plots can give me a meaningful insight, right? So yeah, great. This is about making up a da dashboard, right? So now here you're having the horizontal, vertical, uh, then text, image, web page, many options you are having in here. So you could just sort of simply um, use that. Show dashboard title. Now if I click over this particular checkbox, so this dashboard title we will actually be able to set it onto our own let's say my dashboard our title is google play store dash google dashboard bo dashboard one and i'm going to click over okay so see it gave me a, a google play store dashboard one as a heading as well now we can just simply put over this heading and use that out and simply see here we are having up many sheets and now a dashboard are as well then so now as soon as you increase up the sheets you can keep on adding and adding those into the dashboards that i would show you into the next video 
So right away into this particular video, we learned about the furthermore plots and then we looked over making up the dashboards with the help of the sheets which you are already having up into your tableau and for the same data set, right? So hope I am pretty much clear with all of these particular things. So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.